value to back. Figure 2 to 3 also depicts the straight line motion of the armadillo at three times and is something like what you would see. The graph in Fig.23 is more abstract, but it reveals how fast the armadillo moves. Actually, several quantities are associated with the phrase, how fast. One of them is the average velocity VAB, which is the ratio of the displacement X that occurs during a particular time interval T to that interval. VAB, X2, X1, X, T, T2, T1, T to 2. The notation means that the position is X1 at time T1 and then X2 at time T2. A common unit for VAB is the meter per second, meter per second. You may see other units in the problem, but they are always in the form of length time. Graph. On a graph of X versus T, VAB is the slope of the straight line that connects two particular points on the XT curve. One is the point that corresponds to X2 and T2, and the other is the point that corresponds to X1 and T1. Like displacement, VAB has both magnitude and direction, it is another vector quantity. Its magnitude is the magnitude of the line slope. A positive VAB and slope tells us that the line slants upward to the right. A negative VAB and slope tells us that the line slants downward to the right. The average velocity VAB always has the same sign as the displacement X because T in EQ.22 is always positive. Figure 2 to 4 shows how to find VAB in Fig.23 for the time interval T1s to T4s. Draw the straight line that connects the point on the position curve at the beginning of the interval and the point on the curve at the end of the interval. Then we find the slope xt of the straight line. For the given time interval, the average velocity is VAB 6 meters 3s 2 meters per second. Average speed VAB is a different way of describing how fast a particle moves, whereas the average velocity involves the particle's displacement x, the average speed involves the total distance covered, for example, the number of meters moved independent of direction, that is, VAB, total distance, t, dot, 2 to 3, because average speed does not in full direction, it lacks any algebraic sign. Sometimes SAB is the same except for the absence of a sign as VAB. However, the two can be quite different. A. Figure 2 to 4 calculation of the average velocity between T1s and T4s is the slope of the line that connects the points on the XT curve representing those times. The swirling icon indicates that a figure is available in Wiley Plus as an animation with voiceover. XM. This is a graph of position X versus time T. To find average velocity, first draw a straight line, start to end, and then find the slope of the line. 4, 3, 2, 1. That equals slope of this line. Rise. Underscore, underscore, underscore. Increment x. Underscore, underscore. Equals, equals. Run. Increment t. Zero. End of interval. T S. One two three four. One two three four five. Start of interval. X T. This vertical distance is how far it moved. Start to end. Increment X equals two meters minus four M equals six meters. 
This horizontal distance is how long it took. Start to end. Increment T equals 4S, 1S equals 3S. Two to one position, displacement, and average velocity. 17. Sample problem 2.01 average velocity, beat up pickup truck. You drive a beat up pickup truck along a straight road for 8.4 kilometers at 70 kilometers per hour, at which point the truck runs out of gasoline and stops. Over the next 30 minutes, you walk another 2.0 kilometers farther along the road to a gasoline station. 8. What is your overall displacement from the beginning of your drive to your arrival at the station? Key idea. Calculation. Here we find. Fab. X. T. 10.4 kilometers 0.62 h. 16.8 kilometers per hour. 17 kilometers per hour. Answer. To find fab graphically, first we graph the function x t as shown in fig. 2 to 5, where the beginning and arrival points on the graph are the origin and the point labeled as station. Your average velocity is the slope of the straight line connecting. Assume, for convenience, that you move in the positive direction of an x-axis, from a first position of x1. 0 to a second position of x2 at the station. That second position must be at x2. 8.4 kilometers, 2.0 kilometers, 10.4 kilometers. Then your displacement x along the x-axis is the second position minus the first position. Calculation. From EQ.21, we have xx2 x1 10.4 kilometers, 0 10.4 kilometers. Answer thus. Your overall displacement is 10.4 kilometers in the positive direction of the x-axis. B. What is the time interval T from the beginning of your drive to your arrival at the station? Key idea. We already know the walking time interval TWLK, 0.50H, but we lack the driving time interval TDR. However, we know that for the drive the displacement XDR is 8.4 km and the average velocity VAB doctor is 70 km per hour. Thus, this average velocity is the ratio of the displacement for the drive to the time interval for the drive. Calculations. We first write VAB drive XDR. TDR. Rearranging and substituting data then give us TDR. So, T. XDR VAB. Drive. TDR. 0.12 H. 8.4 kilometers 70 kilometers per hour. TWLK. 0.50 H. 0.12H 0.62H Answer C. What is your average velocity VAB from the beginning of your drive to your arrival at the station? Find it both numerically and graphically. Key idea. For NEQ, 2 to 2 we know that VAB for the entire trip is the ratio of the displacement of 10.4 kilometers for the entire trip to the time interval.